Assalamu alaikum my dear students in today's class I'm going to teach you how to draw the projection of a plane and we have taken a problem in this regard so problem is a circular plate of 50 mm is held such that its plane is perpendicular to the HP and inclined at 30 degree to VP with its center 30 mm above the HP and 50 20 mm in front of VP draw its projections also show its traces so if you take this as a VP and this as a horizontal plane so the condition this is my plane circular plate and this circular plate is if you see at, at from a top view so this is inclined to the VP at an angle of 30 degrees and the circular plate is in front of VP 20 mm and above the center of the circle is above the HP that is 30 mm so this is the case so the thumb rule is it is inclined to the VP the thumb rule is that we have to cancel that inclination and we have to kept this circular plate parallel to the VP so first we'll keep this parallel to the VP then we'll give the rotation we'll keep this at 30 degree to the VP so we'll draw the front view in the VP so it will be seen as a true whole circle from this end if we look at from this end and in the top view it will be seen as a line so let's draw so first of all we'll draw the xy line so xy line so we'll mark this is my xy line so i have to draw the front view of the circle so it will be seen as whole so let me draw the front view so the Dia is 50 mm, so I will take the radius that's 25 mm. Okay, so the center of that the center of that circle is 30 mm above. So I will mark a point from XY line that is 30 mm. So this will be the center of the circle. So I will draw the circle which is whose center is 30 mm above from the xy line so next thing what we need to do we need to div divide the circle into 12 equal parts so I'll divide the circle to into 12 equal parts fine four parts then I'll take the 30 angle 30 degree angle so 30 degree angle like this I have fixed the draft at 30 degrees and I will mark this with the light lines the next at the 60 degrees now the front view is almost complete now we need to give the notations so let's call this one prime two prime three prime four five six seven eight nine ten 11 and this is 12 so what next we need to do we need to the center of that circle is away that is in front of the VP which is seen in the HP that's 20 mm so I'll show this from 20 mm from this point so it is from the center I will take 20 mm so this is the point where it is away so then what I need to do I will draw a light line here a very light line here I will produce these all points from the front view up to the top view so this is my top view which is a line I'll produce these points with a very light line I'll produce all these points with light lines Now I need to darken this line from this point to this point. So this is my top view. So let's name them. So in the top view we can see only the half of the circle that is the upper circumference can be seen. The rest 
circumference the rest of the circumference is hidden so that's why we if we look at from like this we can see only this rim and this rim is hidden so this is my one and this is my seven so rest this point this 12 can be seen and beneath 12 is 2 so that will be kept in brackets same way 11 can be seen 3 is in the brackets 10 can be seen 4 is in the brackets 9 5 is in brackets and 8 and 6 is in brackets so this is how we need to draw this that is the complete top view is complete and the front view is complete now we'll give the rotation we have kept like this like this now we are keeping this circle with the VP at an angle of 30 degrees so I will rotate this line but I have to rotate this line in a such a way that the center of it should be at the 20 mm away from the VP so what I will do I will extend this line I'll extend this line and at this point I'll measure the 30 degree angle draw a line very thin line and we know the center is 20 mm away so let's call say this is the center so we'll measure this line completely this must be 50 yes this is 50 so I'll keep the drafter here at the center which is 20 mm away from the VP and I'll mark 25 mm on this end and 25 mark on this end so this is how it needs to be drawn so this is my line so this is the center center is 10 1 4 1 this is the center and the ends are this is 1 1 and 7 so I need to mark the rest of the points 4 mm so let's mark this 4 mm point this is 4 mm rest can be marked with the help of the compass so keeping the one leg of the compass here and another at the 11 and 3 so marking that center is already marked now I need mark keeping the one leg here and another at 9 and 5 so one leg here 9 and 5 same way one one leg at one another at eight and eight six so marking that way so let's use my eight six eight one six one this point is my nine one five one this angle as you know this angle is 30 degrees and the distance from center to the VP this distance is that is 20 mm so this is 20 mm so what I need to do I need to produce these all points in the VP so I'll produce with the light lines And I need to produce the points from the front view to crisscross these lines. Remember these are all construction lines. They should be light. So now let's see. This is 1. And where from the 1 comes from this end. So it, this is my 1, 1 prime. So similarly, I will look to 2, this is 2, and here comes the 2 from this line. So this is 2, 1 prime. Then 3 comes from here, and 3 comes from this end. So this is my 3, 1 prime, and this must be 12, 1 prime. Now we need to connect all these points with a freehand sketch. So see, with a freehand sketch. So that is the reason we should divide the circle with 12 parts. More parts means more easy to connect this circle, this front view. 
So this is the final shape of the question. So we need to darken this. Okay, this is my, this was the top view and this is my front view. So this is how the in question it was asked. Now the last part of the question is also show its traces. Remember my dear students, if this is the VP and this is the HP and this circular plate is perpendicular to the HP so it will make a trace there and it's also going to touch the VP so it must have both traces but remember one thing in case of the planes trace is a line but in case of a line trace is a point so here the trace is a line not a point so that is the distinction which you should have so what I need to do this I need to produce this is already produced up to XY line so this is my T and this is my H so this whole line from this point to this point is my HT so next what we did in the previous cases we need to draw a perpendicular on this point and from this point to this point from this point to this point we need to darken this so this is my VT so this line is my VT and from this point to this point is my HT that was what was asked so trace in this case is a line not a point now after this we can show the major dimension so this will show this dimension this line was away from the VP 20 mm so this is what we need to show 20 mm it was away and this was from the center to the XY line it was away from the HP or the XY line that is 30 mm and we know the dia we know the dia of the circle that was 50 mm so we need to show the major dimensions remember this thing we need to show the major dimensions so this is it was 50 mm so that is all i hope you enjoyed this question if you enjoyed this question please do subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel and also share the channel with your friends and do not forget to press the bell icon thank you very much for watching me